Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Retro Gaming with Warp Jester. That's a me! So, I was gonna put away StarCraft and go play some Diablo and do some recording there, but uh, I just couldn't get myself away from this. I've been enjoying this so much, I had to just do a little bit more. Uh, that said, uh, this, new, this new objective, this is a new uh, run-through we're gonna be doing compared to the other ones. I desperately dislike these types. Um, you'll see why. This is not the typical resource gathering and running around. This is fixed armament, and you gotta be really smart um, with your troops because you will lose them very quickly if you run around haphazardly. So I'm gonna get this guy's mech up here. So bats are three, marines are two, everybody's one, and then. Rainer, I'm going to do is four for right now. Yes, yeah, so you have to do a lot more micromanage and keep your guys alive. What you really want to do is try to keep them, you know, topped off and not getting hurt too much. So if one guy's up front and he's taking a lot of damage, you need to pull him back, kind of try to keep him behind so that he's not taking the brunt of the force. So these bats are up front. They are likely to be the first ones to get nailed. And then you got to push them to the back and try to keep them back there a little bit. Now, there's a lot of mobs and things to deal with and then ram shit like this as i said you see this bat's already taking a boatload of damage so this is this is where things get really annoying oh i hate these kind hate these kind um so the 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 basic troops you have here the marines um they're your base unit the the terrans have a perk in that the marines can shoot both uh ground as well as air There you go. Take him out. Not gonna fight back, so it hardly matters. Um, so yeah, the Marines are really kind of a, a nice perk because for a base unit, which is you know the first unit you put in uh, on the Terrans, they can shoot both ground and air. So that's, that's a huge advantage. But they're pretty weak. Their firepower's not really great. As you saw in the last one, we can upgrade them, which is fine. But uh, they're still you know a base unit. Other uh, other characters like the Zergs, their base units are little Zerglings, which are ground to ground only. Um, and then Protoss, likewise, we've got the Zealots, or Zealots, or however, I'm not gonna argue with how to say things on this game. Um, so this, there is gives and takes to it. So again, oftentimes I'll do is I'll look at my guys here. If you hit the one, you see the, um, damage you're taking. And oftentimes it's kind of Take a look at for anybody who's got any kind of damage to and just push them to the back so that as you're moving through, they kind of stay to the back and they have a better chance of surviving a little bit longer and be able to participate without basically working the whole thing. Um, I hate these things. Oh, there we go. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Come out quick. That's a Goliath. Okay. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so they want, they want to not go too far. This is me taking advantage of AI now, because they only, they only, can only draw them out so far, and then they try to run back. All right, assessment. Uh, let's take you, bring you back, and then bring you back. Now, you got to keep Rainer alive, but that said, he has got a good bit of hit point. You can see right here, all these guys are 40, where he's got 200, so he can take a little bit of abuse. Which is it back? Which is it back? Hopefully, we can kind of keep these guys a little yes. more alive for a little bit longer. And I do have stim packs we can use. And again, this is one of those things I always forget about. But I try to make the most of it. I'm not sure how much they kill for, or heal for. So I try to hold off until the last possible moment. Now, these kind of things I hate because they're thin ramps. I mean, this guy is pretty much single file it up here. And as soon as they pop up, they usually get jumped. And that annoys the crap out of me. Pull them up to the side here, let everybody get up. Yes, yeah, so these, these type of little kind of dungeon crawler type maps, they're fun, don't get me wrong. But the inevitability is I end up getting toasted. And along here, I bet you're going to find some floor tiles that are going to pop up with guns and walls that you saw the missiles come out of. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of no bueno for me. I, I am so not the micromanager. So try to keep the one side a little bit to kind of keep my helmet away as much as possible. In the sheer hopes that we don't have uh, oh, yeah. 
maybe avoid one wall or the other in some cases. Ah, there we go, some guys. Come out. There we go. Whew. So we can't get through this alive with all our guys. Not really going to happen, I'm sure, but hey. Alright. Yeah, so the second, the second tier uh, base unit you get with uh, Terrans, you get these fire bats. And fire bats are short range... But they got some pretty good damage, and they're especially good at uh, torching uh, Zergs. Zergs are not uh, not much for the anti-fire, so if you need to take out Zergs, this is definitely way to do this with fire bats if you can. But again, short range means Zergs have to be right in your face, and especially when you deal with like spitters, that could be problematic. There, that's a great point. Oh, let's see him. Have some fun, guys. Take out, take out the nobodies. And and we're walking. I'm also one of those kind of completionist people. I really like to kind of putz around and actually find every little nook and cranny. But I really don't want to putz around too long with this one. So I'm just going to kind of head towards the target. This floor tiles pop up. I know they're gonna have floor tiles in this. Let's find some people. Yeah, take them out. Oh, stand around, look at each other. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Oh, be all nice. Get up right in front of them. Say hi to you, and then fricassee. Rolling on. Right on. Sounds fun. Oh, yeah, we got some people here. Yep. Right and. Nuke them. There we go. That's what I want to see. Walk right into the firepower. Right on. That should be good. Right now. That should be good. Fire bats. You know, for a little bit of Terrans, I, I really just don't use fire bats as much as I should, I'm sure. Um, it's one of those things of know your enemy kind of deal, and I end up ultimately always forgetting that they have their perks to them in terms of extra damage to Zergs, and so I end up not really utilizing them when I should. And that's that's a faux pas because in the end it ends up kind of pooching me in the butt. But uh, it, it's just it, it's hard to deal with them. For the most part, I end up usually using them for silly simple stuff like uh, uh, uh oh, nice. I like to use them for um, uh, basically putting in bunkers. Ooh, he got hit hard. This is what I was doing, what's next? Nerds! Alright, waste my time there. Okay, he's, he's hurting for certain. Oh, I lost one! No! This was damage. No, I'm kidding. Alright, we're man down now. Oh, crap. Yeah, they <laughs> just... Hi, I'm gonna, like, do super damage. Come on. Run back here. No, back here, not forward, you ninny. Ah. Uh, here. We have teleported to section one. Oh, great. That's crap. In. Thank you. Alright. That should be good. Unauthorized entry detected. Wanna turn up the heat. Oh crap. Woo! That's what I was talking about with those floor plates right that there. It's there. Blast no, Blast oh, oh god, don't die. I can't take any more. I can't take any more, dang it. Ah, oh, my men! Oh, yeah. Screw it. Sir Grush! Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, this is why I start getting all kind of pissy, because, like I said, I like keeping as many guys as I can alive yeah. as long as I can. And it's just, it kills me when I start losing a lot, because I start getting antsy about maneuvers. 
There we go. So now we can say one. Two missiles to the face, and he's just fine, ladies and gentlemen. That is a superhero right there. See, so when you're moving you guys around, even if they're getting attacked, they will still continue to move to that point without attacking. Once you get to the point, then they can react. So when those kind of little floor plates and traps pop up, oh, ghost! Get rid of the ghost. Um, you gotta, you, you gotta get on top of it quickly. Shoot! Shoot! So what we just saw there, the different time shots fire the ghosts. Ghosts are a pain in the ass because they can uh, they can ruin your day. They can cloak. They can cause all kinds of problems. Here we go. Ta-da! That was a reasonably easy one, kind of a short one. But yeah, so that that's kind of a dungeon crawler style uh, thing for uh, StarCraft. Never really, really went beyond the campaign. Nobody, I did see a lot out there from custom ones people made that I would ever want to play. Because I said, this is just, it's not my shtick. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. But nonetheless. So, anyways. Uh, that's that one. I hope I don't do any of those again for a while. Because, God, I hate them. I know I said that, but Jesus. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's it for this uh, episode. I know it's a kind of a shorty, but uh, it's it's hard to line up, you know, back to back uh, campaigns and have them kind of land at the right time. And I try to keep them around 20, 20, 30 minutes on the high side. And if you go from one of these little quick, you know, ten or fifteens, and then you try to do another one, and find out it's a half hour one, then you've got a forty five minute show, and it just it don't make for good stuff. So. Yeah, that's that. Uh, thank you much. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It helps me out. Um, I just like to know what you guys are into, what you're not into, and it gives me ideas of uh, what else to show. Uh, and of course, if you want to keep up on what I'm doing around here, please feel free to go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, as always, uh, if you're curious to know, know a little more about me, pardon me, it's late night, so my tongue has stopped working. Um, you're more welcome to uh, visit me over at the Bottle Rocket Gaming website. That's BottleRocketGaming.com. Uh, that is where all of us uh, Bottle Rocketeers hang out. We do a lot of different uh, um, games of all sorts. We've got uh, Minecraft's kind of our core, but we do a lot of our stuff from, obviously, the stuff you see here, as well as um, Grand Theft Auto and all kinds of craziness. So... Uh, definitely recommend stop by there and feel free to sign up. Uh, we love to talk and chat with new people, and uh, if we do events and whatnot, you are certainly welcome to join us. So feel free to join in, and you can be on the videos, be on the video games, as uh, Kirk J. Mac would say. Anyways, guys, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye.